Okay, per everyone's request, I'm gonna try to show more of me just in a cabin sprayer. So today we don't have much going on. Um, we only got one field to spray later, so they wanted to wait. So we're just working on a few things. First thing we got going is my sprayer. I love these sprayers, but the earlier models, the only bad thing is on the fence rows, they were pretty weak. They just kind of like drizzled out. They didn't spray very good. So we're gonna, um, and then one of my valves went bad, it, you know, won't shut anymore. So we're gonna change a few things. So here's the old valve. And then it had like an eighth inch hose from here to here, or from here to here, um, which wasn't very big. And I don't feel like that, that was a lot of our problem. So now we're gonna switch this, upgrade it to quarter inch. And then it's quarter inch from here out to the fence row. Um, and then I got this new valve and it's gonna go in like this. And um, yeah, so this valve was $110 and all my fittings were 20 bucks. And John Deere wanted 600 for that bad boy. So kind of a no-brainer. So I got this other one um, just from our local farm store. They just sell plumbing parts. So picked it up from then, got all the fittings, and we're going to swap it out and see how much better this does. I'll have to, I'll have to show you how, how well it works. We're going on those uh, fence rows and the caps um, that the hose comes out of were the wrong size. Um, they were... Um, I got full port, which is a little bigger than a standard size, and so, yep, run into town and grab some, so, nice, you know, 30 minute drive for, for something small, so, hopefully we'll get it put together tonight. Alright, got it. Oop. Fits perfect, should be good to go. But we're looking at it, and this sticks out pretty far, so when we fold up, you know, it might hit over here, so we're going to check that. We might have to just flip it around so this is on the inside and just you know flip everything over the other way so we will see so we'll fold it up looks like it should fit i think we're golden yep i think we'll just let it sit right there so actually look at that like this part will be good but right here where we hit need the hose coming out we need nine years not enough space so we're gonna have to flip this down and have the hose come out down below so but it shouldn't be too hard. Then we should be golden. Should be good to go. All right. So yeah, it's it's gotten a little colder. So gotta wear a jacket now. Um, but last night we got those caps put on. Um, but I had to go do some other things. So did get a chance to run the sprayer. So we're gonna test it out this morning and see how those new fence rows turn out. So hopefully we like them because it took us almost all day to finally get that put together. So. Well, we had other things. I was just waiting to get a part here and there that we were missing. So we'll see how it runs, though. Okay, last section's on. And, man, that is shooting out there. You can see it comes all the way out here. That's like a good, I don't know, probably 8, 10 foot. I mean, that's about, it used to only just come to about here. Now we're all the way out there. False alarm. It wasn't working great. Um. So sprayed great, but it wouldn't turn off. No matter what I did, it'd stay open. So anytime I had my pump on and that sprayer, it was spraying out. And it took me a minute to figure out what we'd done wrong. But I grabbed the instructions and we actually read them. And looks like we plumbed it backwards. So this needs to be water coming out. And this is water coming in. And we had it backwards. So we'll flip those around and hopefully that'll be... The last problem so we will see all right got things switched around now it's time to see um something i do love about john Deere's is this little solution control panel yeah all i have to do is push you know turn on my pump and turn on this button then i can check all my nozzles out here and i have it just so my the last section and my fence roll will turn on and so we'll turn it on now that i got things switched around and we'll see if it works well everything worked i tried to film it and Got done, ran out of water, and realized I didn't push record. So you guys don't get to see the end result. But it works great, just like it looks like before, but it just turns on and off now. So I did not put this one together. Um, my cousin that works for us did, so it's a little messy. But look at the job done. But yeah, so we just had to turn it, and so we have water coming in now, and water coming out the right way, and turns on and off, and works great. And all, I'm pretty satisfied. I spent, what would that be? 
260 total for both sides and John Deere wanted 1200 for just the two valves. So, and this, and it's working way better now too. So, yeah, job well done, I'd say.